your dad was a drinker. Did he hit you a little bit? Ah, uh, yeah. Whenever he would get it. Yeah, man. Yeah, he was a yeah. disciplinarian. He was into discipline and he was into obedience and he was into alcohol. And I was into anti-discipline, dis, dis, uh, right. yeah, and uh, sugar, lots of sugar. Right. That's why I ain't got no teeth. And uh, was that a thing? Like, was your dad looking back? Was your dad out of line? Oh yeah, man. Okay. But, but that's cool. He was what he was. Right. And probably raised by a brutal father himself. You know. And I don't dwell on that crap, Reno, because it didn't thwart me in any way. It all it made me was what I am. Right. And when I greeted... Did he ever want thanks, though? Hey, look, I made Patrick and I made George, and you're both welcome. Yeah, we, you know, I didn't go to his funeral. Okay. He died when I was about 14. I didn't give a shit. When we split, at, at George was two months old, we split, and I was like five. What split me? Left him. Okay. My mother went down the fire escape, man. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. And we had, we had a tight family, and they were helping her get away. We fled to the Catskills, man. How, like old, a, how old were you? Like a novel. I was five and digging it because I was glad because she had said we're not coming back. Because she used to be go away for about a year and then come back. Like George was a reconciliation baby. Right. In oh. 1936, they were not, not seeing each other. You know, they'd put the stuff in storage, and we'd go live with the grandparents for a year, me and mom. And then she goes and she sees him, and they were, they really dug each other sexually. It's not, a, I'm not telling you anything out of the, George, this is in George's right. autobiography, Last Words. You ought to read that son of a bitch because, boy, it's an honest portrayal, much better than I can say it, you know, because he went down and worked on the son of a bitch. But uh, they were, his, his nickname was Ever Ready, and her <laughs> nickname was Pepper. And she even told me in her own words time, she said the sex was great, but the rest of it was nowhere. And this was a Catholic chick. But see, she wondered why she had rebels. The son of a bitch got kicked out of Catholic school for too much lipstick right. and too much bracelets. And she get before that, when she was maybe like 10, wasn't invited to a party that she wanted. So got a candy box full of horse shit because she was born in 1896. Horses were shitting in the streets. You know, when she was 10. That's the stuff of legend. Yeah. yeah, man. That's why they were glad the cars came along. But, I mean, she presented that. So my mother had large huevos, man. Was religion always bullshit in the Carlin household? It was laissez-faire. But but you should we, go anyway. To oh, we, I was an altar boy. George was a choir boy. Isn't that funny? It was Well, that's meaningless shit. Uh, I was then why in, do it? I, was no, in, well, I mean, no, you don't have a choice. I was into why? it. No, I, I, George didn't buy it after First Communion. Because right. he, he said he didn't feel different. Fuck it. Right. But I, <laughs> I, I, I he was bright. He was, he was way, way ahead of me at much, much younger ages. And I, I sensed that even as a tiny dude. And I always let him run his course. And I would correct him on certain things. You know, like he, he said, cow sucker. When we were living up on 140th Street, and he called a guy a cow sucker. And I said, no, no, that's cocksucker <laughs> and that you know i offer that but uh we uh he had his pals and i had right. mine were yeah. you close though oh yeah oh yeah because uh because of the rebel situation well no just because we we were brothers we were in the same house what are you like six years older you were five and a half years older okay. yeah Geek and the girl .com.